so I know nothing is our company mantra. And sometimes we get very, um, you know, uh, we annoy our employees by talking about I know nothing. It really means be curious, go in with an open mind. You know, the, the worst thing you can do is arrive at, you know, a master state. A master state means I've got the answer, I've seen it before. And um, the answer, you know, yesterday might not be the answer today. And when you have a new pattern, we so quickly want to drive that which we know to pattern recognition to say this is the answer. We stop investigating. We don't say, could there be a different cause, a different reason? We stop testing. We go right to the conclusion, right to the answer. And so I know nothing is a preset, is a reset of your thinking whenever you encounter something new. Whenever you wake up at the beginning of the day and you go to work and the first thing you say is, I know nothing, the first thing you see, it changes your orientation to say, hmm, is this different than yesterday? Should I explore? Should I investigate? I wonder why sales shifted so dramatically to new customers away from repeat customers. Why are we selling dresses instead of blouses? What, ask the question why. Be curious. Do not impose your preset answer. And you do that by saying, I know nothing. And you start your day with, I know nothing. Lunchtime, I know nothing. Later in the day, I know nothing. Keeps you curious. What else is there? Um, you know, if you don't learn, you're not alive. And so, you know, every single day is met with learning something new. And it could be obscure, it could be something very personal. Um, um, it is why we exist. It's why I do what I do, it's why you do what you do. Um, I don't want to, you know, a great day is defined by, you know, what did I learn today that I didn't know yesterday? And the excitement for tomorrow is what am I going to learn tomorrow that is completely unexpected, that I, I had no conception at the beginning of the day that this is what I was going to encounter. Um, it's our reason for being alive. Body shapes are really important to me and important to making clothes. And I am fascinated that, um, you know, in creating um, pants, um, the, the height, the correlation of height and how it is distributed throughout the human body, this is really obscure, but you asked the question, so this is what we're getting. Go with it. it changes, changes how the rise of, of which is the area um, um, uh, within the center of the body changes from front to back so dramatically from different uh, heights. So as you become six foot two, um, your anatomy changes in ways that I did not expect. I just thought it was a scaled version of the human body. I also learned that uh, you know, women who are uh, five foot ten and above, there's only 680,000 of them in the United States. Um, I didn't realize that it was such a small percentage of the population. And this anatomical difference that relates to how patterns are created and products are created, this is one of the brands that's launching on our platform, um, is a hyper micro segmented population that is completely underserved and the patterns required to create new products for uh, th this particular body shape are very, very complicated. And I, I didn't know that a week ago.